If you like giant clocks and hate setting the time, then you're gonna love this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a giant wall clock, which you can see here, digital wall clock, but what's important, I think, is this. It's atomic, which means it will blow up and level everything within a 15 mile radius of your home. I'm just kidding. Atomic, which was kind of popular in the 80s and 90s, I believe, meant that it would set the time based on the atomic clocks, the government clocks, I think. So I am kind of thinking that once I get this bad boy set up and powered on, it should set the time on its own and be extremely accurate. So we'll see. That might be a promise unfulfilled. You can see we get a user manual right here. Now, this little guy is interesting. What we get here is an outdoor temperature sensor. So I think you could put this outside and it will read the temperature and then it will be reflected on your jumbo clock. You can see we have a little keyhole there. If I open up the battery pack here, you can see that two batteries will power this guy. So it's really nice because if you want to know what the temperature is outside for sure, this will do it as opposed to just kind of asking your Alexa or Siri or something like that. And it's just giving you the temperature that it knows is in your area. But you can actually know if it's warm right outside your bedroom window if you want. Now, what I want to do here is get the temperature sensor set up here. So I've gone ahead and put in two AAA batteries in the temperature sensor. And you have a little switch here. It might be a little hard to see, but there's a position one, two, and three. Those are the channels. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move this to channel one, which is over there. And now I'm gonna put this back on and we will make sure that this gets paired to the device. You can see here that this remote sensor is reading 73 degrees, which is pretty much what it is right where I'm sitting. And so let's get it connected to here. So when this thing is getting powered up for the first time, you'll see the little radio icon going right there. And it is trying to pair to this wireless sensor here so I'm just kind of curious to see if it will find it they have to be pretty close especially on the initial setup here but can't get any closer than this and there you have it it is finished pairing and what you can see here is that temperature is the same as the internal temperature basically it's reading from the same area here but now I can put this outside and know what temperature it is outside which is super helpful which is really pretty cool now what we have to do is something about this time up here which is totally wrong you would think hey pete didn't you tell me this was an atomic clock that i don't like setting up the time that it would set the time automatically well pretty much but what we have to do here is rotate this around here and we have all these buttons and the one we need here is this rcc so this radio button right here and i'm going to hold it down for three seconds you can hear it beep and now what we have here is this little satellite dish icon and it's flashing and it wants to connect to the radio antennas that are broadcasting the correct date and time so this will take a few minutes you want to make sure you have clear line of sight to your sky so you get a good strong radio signal three minutes is kind of the minimum i've heard i have seen this take longer several minutes here sometimes but i'm just going to go ahead and let this continue to connect here and then we will see if we get the right date and time eventually once the icon stops flashing it has has received the time and what you can see there is everything about this is correct it is august 5th saturday and i'm doing this at 9 33 p.m and then we have several holes right here so you can put screws on the wall and hang this on the wall we also have this right here so it's a kickstand so you can set this up on your desk table nightstand if you want we also get buttons right here so we can set the time alarm so we have this big giant wall clock it's not that heavy you can put it anywhere your desk your wall in your bathroom with the remote sensor so you can see what it's like outside if you want to be able to set the time easily over the airwaves so that you're not late for your important meetings starting your day and the temperature outside so that you can dress appropriately you might want this big atomic wall clock i will put a link to this in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper